hello all in this session we are going to uh, discussing about how to override a function in auto so function overriding is used to changing the implementation of a method so we can redefine a method that is uh, previously defined so for let's uh, look at example so this is a sale order form there is a confirm button here so whenever we click this confirm button the status of the sale order is changed to sales order so there is a function associated with this button while turning on debugging mode we can see that the function associated with this button is action confirm so what i need is when clicking the confirm button i need to fill the today's date in this confirmation date this field this is a custom field I added this I added in this form view so by default when we fill the values and clicking confirm button you can see that the status is changed so I need so I need to override that method and uh, I need to add the today's date in this field so go to PyCharm and search for that method in sale model so that method name is action confirm so this is the method this is the original method so now we need to override this method so for that I am copying this method name ok so in my custom module in models I added a create a new python file in your custom module and we need uh, we need to inherit the model corresponding to that function so here the model is sale.order so we need inherit the model this is a custom field I added before so for overriding that function I am copying that function name here we need to copy the same name and same argument here so then we can add our custom code here so in this example I am giving validation rate equal to time dot today so I overwrite that function and I have placed a custom code here so run this order 14 so whenever that button is clicked then the original function is not executed this function is executed from now on so go to that our and just fail out since we only updated in python file we know we don't need to upgrade the module ok then create a record ok I am saving this and by clicking confirm button we can see that the confirmation date is filled here but the status is not changed so this is why uh, this is because we are override the uh, function associated with confirm button with our custom code so if we need to also call the original function while overriding then we can use the super method so with super we can call the original function and override it to change the default behavior so so for that we need to use super method so we can also use the original function so I am searching for super ok I am copying this line so this is the syntax of super so this is a variable 
and super keyword here we need to specify the class name so here the class name is sales confirmation date I'm copying and paste the class name here and this is sales and here we need to specify the method name that is action confirm okay we are super that method so if this method have any other argument other than self for example method have else then we need we need to add this argument here and also here so this method only uh, there is no argument other than f self for this method so we do not need to add the arguments here and we need to return pass so we can add the customer custom code our custom code here and by supering this method the original function is also called so run this okay now going to create a new quotation and save this and by confirming it we can see that the confirmation date is also uh, filled here and also the status is changed this is the working of method or writing and super in 